Hey guys, how's everyone today? Um, I am sad to bring this to you guys, but it's something that I told you that I'd keep an eye on. And sadly, this thing has become, this is what I'm talking about is the Gulf Blue Plague, has made the Gulf of Mexico into a killing zone, which will soon become a dead zone. Um, because of the warmer water, the bacteria is multiplying and getting way out of control. It's been out of control. Our president took a payoff. The damage can never uh, be given a money value on it. There's been so many people now that have got this flesh-eating disease. And I mean, they are trying to blame it on red tide, algae blooms, anything they can but what it truly is. And they're finally acknowledging that it's the flesh-eating bacteria as well. There's uh, some stories. Largest red tide since 2006, not far off Gulf Coast. That's a lie. Um, here, algae bloom, size of Rhode Island, lurks in the Gulf. Another lie. Flesh-eating bacteria in Florida. Warnings issued about swimming in salt water, eating raw shellfish. Absolutely don't eat it. Don't don't come to the Gulf, guys. I live in Florida. I have family here that live on the beach and I'm constantly telling them to be careful. I mean they they thought I was a nut um about talking about this two years ago and now they're just like how did you know? And it's because I do the research on it and I try to keep track of it. Three years after BP oil spill, USF researcher uh, finds mass massive die-off. And that's another thing. It's killing a lot of marine life. A lot of fish, a lot of other things are dying too. Rhode Island firefighter loses hand to flesh-eating bacteria. Um, flesh-eating bacteria in Gulf of Mexico kills 10. And as you can see, this is uh, July 30th, 2014. July 31st, morning, flesh-eating bacteria in Gulf of Mexico, water, sand, seafood, killing people, officials, hiding data. They absolutely are hiding the data. I mean, look at this poor guy. He's lost lost his arm. Um, I know people personally that have had parts of their body eaten away from this stuff. I mean, they've turned the Gulf of Mexico into a pool of death. The Gulf Blue Plague is a serious and it's going to be worse, I'm afraid. And what I fear worse is that a hurricane might come through the Gulf, pick that stuff up and bring it on land, drop it in the lakes, in the rivers, um, Rivers and stuff, they clean themselves, so they're going to be better off with the lakes and stuff like that. And, you know, we're in trouble, big trouble here. Don't eat the seafood if it's coming from the Gulf. Be careful, guys. And this stuff's going in other places in the ocean, too. I mean, they've let the genie out of the bottle. They uh, have opened Pandora's box with the BP oil spill. And... Our president took the payment and they, you know, we can't do nothing more. He took the money and ran. There's nothing else than, and that's a shut case now. Now people are dying. Lots of people. Ten people killed. 
and hospitalized 32. I mean, this is just this summer, guys. Just, just within the last little bit, couple months. Bacteria infection from coastal waters, extremely rare, not flesh-eating, Florida officials say. Well, that's a lie. Here you got um, on WebMD even, um, flesh-eating bacteria. I mean, you know, it's, it's causing some serious, serious worries, and it should. I'm going to leave links to all this stuff for y'all. Um, like I say, this is this breaks my heart because I live in Florida. I have family. I love to go to the beach. I used to anyway. Um, now I, I don't like it anymore. I seen on the news them talking about the red tide killing all the fish. Blah blah blah. I'm sorry, it's not the red tide, nor is it an algae bloom. It's the Gulf Blue Plague that is killing fish. Sea life, aqua life, and people. Now from Wikipedia. Environmental impact of Deepwater Horizon oil spill. See, they they acknowledge it. I mean, it's uh, it's at a point they can't hide it anymore. Um, what did I pull up here? Um, I believe it's flesh-eating bacteria. Oh, this is the fish die-offs. The fish kills. Yeah. Lots and lots of fish dying. Being killed. Um, BP has... And the men and people that are involved in this stuff. You know, what were they thinking? They've turned it into wormwood. This is wormwood right here. It's what the Gulf of Mexico is becoming. Wormwood. Bitter poison. Fatal poison. Biological hazard. Mass die-off. Red tide. Gulf of Mexico. Red tide my foot. And it's sad that they're going to sit there and say this and say that and you know, and uh, unusual mortality event in northern Gulf of Mexico. Unusual. They know. They knew it was going to be coming. And now that the, uh, and see, bacteria, they acknowledge it. This is NOAA. This is the government. They acknowledge the flesh-eating bacteria. But uh, your news reporters are not going to be telling you this stuff. You're not going to get it any other place besides uh, people like me who's going to bring you the, the information and bring you the story. Dead Zone. Look at this. This is Wikipedia. This article is about the ocean um, phenomenon. dead zone. Sad. It's a sad, sad situation. And I hate to bring you guys stories like this, but I think that it's my responsibility as, um, like I told you, I would keep an eye on this, and I have, and I will continue to do so. Just like I've tried to keep everybody um, up on the hantavirus, stuff like that. Now they've got the Ebola going out of control, I mean, um, the the plague of viruses and stuff has has been unleashed. The uh, the damage is being done, and you know, there's one way that it could be corrected, and that's looking to the human body what happens when we get sick and we get infection well our body 
runs a temperature. We get a fever. The fever oftentimes kills the virus, but it takes a fever of 103, 104, sometimes a fever so high that it can kill the person. Well, it might take getting the Gulf of Mexico to a friggin' boiling point, but that would take care of the um, killing this bacteria. Unfortunately, it would also kill all the marine life. But something's got to be done. I don't know what, but something's got to be done. I mean, God help us, because we've sure screwed things up. And he knows it. Oh, that one's a bad. Some of these, they make it so hard. And I apologize for some of my videos being so blurry you can't read them. That's why I have increased the uh, the thing to like 150% on there. And so the words are bigger, so you can at least try to read them. But I've noticed they've been doing that to my stuff. Um, guys, I'm going to give you the truth as much as I can, as much as I can find it. And I'm going to show you something else that's really bizarre, that really blew me away. Um, here's some pictures of some people that had the flesh eating bacteria, mass fish die-offs from it. Animal, sea life. Our, you know, our coexisting brothers and sisters are, you know, in the sea. They share this earth with us and we've done huge damage to them because of this. And was it staged? I don't know. Uh, that no longer matters because this is a problem that's got to be dealt with or else it's going to, you know, I mean, maybe this is what the Bible is talking about. The third of the um, third of the sea will die. Third of the animals in the sea will die. I don't know. One thing that I found that really knocked my socks off was this right there. This right here. Look at that. Do you think they knew something? Of course, this is from, uh, you know, um, Pet Goat. Interesting parallel, though. Here's a uh, shot of the Gulf. Oh, that crap was going down. I mean, if you're thinking about having a party eating oysters, think again. Think again. Make sure you know where you're getting them from. Because this, this is the BP symbol right there. And this is the man who took the money and ran. This is the little girl who's being poisoned. And these are all the lost souls that have been poisoned. And all the people that suffer. that really tripped me out when I saw that. I was just like, wow. It's very, very bizarre. But they knew what they was doing. They knew what was happening. It's sad that, that this has happened. And we've got to try to live with it and deal with it. Because if it does, um, if a hurricane does come and picks this stuff up and brings it inland, we're really in trouble then. But we know that, you know, through the things we've been warned about, we, we know it's coming. Anyways, I hope everybody's well. Like I say, I hate bringing this kind of reports. It, it breaks my heart. But it, I believe it's my duty to do so. And, uh, Guys, stay on top of things and, and stay ready. Things are too quiet for my taste. Um, when things are this quiet, something's up. And I know things have been very quiet, seemingly too quiet. 
I mean, I'm not going to complain much. But, uh, you know, there's some other articles that I'm going to be sharing with you about already seeing the effects of the uh, IRS going worldwide, too. I'll be coming with that in a later story. I hope everyone's well. Guys, never give up your guns. Your Second Amendment right protects the first and the last. Buy all the ammunition you can, if, when, when, and how you can. And same thing with all the firearms. Get all that you can. Have a backup. Have plans. Have backup plans for your plans. Um, prepare while you can. There's still time. We've still got time to prepare. Up until the final, you know, when the stuff hits the fan, you can continue to prepare after that, too. But until later, this is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. Good luck to us all. Over and out.